Welcome to my channel. We're going to do a quick get ready with me this morning. So, all I'm going to do for my hair is just this. The best fry shampoo ever. use this on my brush just so it picks up more powder I guess I think it helps Just to an even layer and just even out my skin tone. And then a little bit of blush. I steal this from the hospital. It is the best chopstick, truly. I do this first. And then I'll just put a random color on. Which this is so weird. I got it in a Fab Fit Fun box, but I'll show you. It's just a pinky red color. Love it. And then I used to use this all the time. I never rebought it. I've been using this. Which I also got in a FabFitFun box. And I like it, it's good, but I remember this one being better. And it comes with the color and the brush, which I like. This one's kind of more um, like skinny, you know, like you can see the skin. <laughs> I got my eyebrows done and she says, honey, let me do your lip. I was like, no, it's okay. I've actually done my lip before, but I feel like it doesn't work. I honestly just feel like they don't come off. They stay there. So I was like, no. And she's like, honey, you need. So I did it. Guess what? They stayed there. Okay. And then all I do, never filmed myself. I feel like I'm created. All I do is mascara after that. So I comb my lashes. <clears throat> I usually just pinch a few times and then I'll hold for a little bit. I honestly don't even know if I do it right, but that's how I do. This I got in my FabFitFun box. So I've been using this. It's okay. I'm kind of picky with mascara, um, and I like it. I mean, I would use it. Usually I get, if I'm buying one, these are empty, but I just get the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I really like these actually a lot, more than this.
All I do. I don't set it. I used to, but. I tried a few different setting sprays and I feel like all I did was dry my face out, so. Anyways, camera says seven minutes. And that was with talking and stuff. It's just very simple. But my little everyday morning. Well, I do not do it every day. Let's not lie. Costco. I got three of these um, like thicker, they're like that anti-fatigue kitchen mat. I got two for the kitchen and one for our laundry room. And then socks I got on paper towels. Got some dog food because we're completely out. Um, I got toothpaste. Is my friend told me about, so I got them to try. She didn't even, well, she tried them, but then her dog ate the entire bag. So I got those. Um, got a thing of hand soap because we're completely out of that. And then every time we go to Costco, we get the rotisserie chicken. It's literally five bucks. It's so big, and you can use it for anything, like throwing in salads. I made enchiladas with them. Um, and even if you go get a rotisserie chicken at Walmart. It's more than $5 and it's a way smaller chicken. So, literally, I'm sure you all know, best deal at Costco. Okay, I'm gonna go put these things away. Okay, I was not planning to do this today, but we have an overstock of food and it is just beginning to be way too much. So, I'm doing some organizing. And I'm making bags of stuff to give away. So we have a popcorn basket going. Um, this is like sweet and just like sweetie stuff that'll give me a sweet taste. And then some um, seasoning packets in the separated portion. I have a bread basket going. A ton of apples and an overload of pastas we have a bunch of pastas here um, and just easy sides for meals but we have a ton so this is gonna be like on the top or a top shelf um, and then I need to figure out I need to organize the cans <sighs> and that's more overstock so right now I have extra kitchen stuff in the back and then stuff we grab more often here some drink packets and chocolate milk this is breakfast with oatmeal, um, protein bars and this random little cereal I found um, and then box of cereal oats in the back these are some peanut butters and um, the gallon drink mixes. Um, and then this stuff is all organized, but I think I might replace it. Um, I need to fill up, put some of the open pasta in there. So this is the start to it, um, and I will show you the end product. Okay, so I'm gonna use my little maker and make labels for like my quinoa and flour and all of that. Oh God, how do you spell quinoa? I think that's right. Let me just do that. So I 
I just print. Uh, okay. I love this label maker. And then you just do that. Well, it's hard to do with one hand. And I cut that for you. And then I'll just trim it. Here's the pantry. Extra pastas, quinoa, pasta we're using, white rice, brown sugar, sugar, tortilla strips, we use them, salad, flour. We just have our girl style cookies we got here. Um, I put like my extra vase for flowers, syrup, extra pancake mix, stuff for the pancake shaker and um, cold brew maker and then we have extra drink mixes here and then breakfast cereal oats um, peanut butter and drink mixes the stuff I got at Costco today which is bomb.com recommend nuts this is all my sweet stuff and fruit strips and seasoning mixes are back there. Um, popcorn and this is all chips. Um, and then we have a bread basket now. Fruits, soups, corn, green beans, extra veggies. And then overload of pasta. These are just sauces. And then our main overload basket is still down here with syrups, rice, oil, and all that. Those are just grocery bags, extra protein, and saran wrap. These are mostly things um, that we would use in meals. These are just quick meals, beans, sauces, and olives. Um, and then all of our pasta sauce and tomato paste and diced tomatoes, a bunch of uh, tuna. And then we have our potatoes, apples, main pasta stash here. And that is it. So much more organized now. Hey guys, I am gonna call it a day after that pantry makeover. I was not expecting to do that today. But I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And I am going to post videos every week, so come back if you want more.